Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be uh, adding default options to switch statements. So this is similar to the last few videos. In a switch statement, you may not be able to specify all possible values as a case statement. Instead, you want to add a default statement which will be executed if no matching case statements are found. Think of this like the final else statement in an if slash else chain. A default statement should be the last case. So your default should be the last, meaning that you shouldn't have a case underneath your default statement because it, I don't think it would ever execute. It would be a waste of, uh, yeah, it just makes your code look ugly. So we want to write a switch statement where A turns to apple, B turns to bird, C turns to cat, and default is stuff. Currently we have, uh, if we run this, I'm just going to do console.log to just see the switch of stuff. And then we're going to put in the value, doesn't matter. Um, switch of stuff. We'll just put in the value as an empty string. So right now the answer is coming out. So what's going on is we're doing the switch of value. We're making the value an empty string. The answer is an empty string. So it comes out here. We could also put EMPT, empty string in here. And you'll see that that comes out here. Um, which is unimportant, but I'm just basically console logging out to show you what happens to the function here. Now, the first thing we want to do is add a switch statement, and we're going to make the number be equal to the value. So we want to be the value that's passed in here. So we're just going to call it val. Um, and then in our switch statement, if in the case that the uh, value is equal to the letter A, we're going to do a colon, and then we're going to uh, return the string of apple, and then uh, break. So if we were to say pass in, instead of having it blank here, we make this, so right now it's coming in, it's being equal to this, an empty string, the, the answer is equal to the empty string, and then so we're returning empty string. Now if we were to return the value, that would be empty because we're now we're passing in nothing. Now, if we were to put A in here, the value becomes apple because we're even though we're, our answer is our, our answer is equal to empty string. So here's what's happening: switch of stuff, and then we're passing in a string of A. So first off, we put it into the function. We come into this function, and then we say we make the variable of answer equal to empty string, and then in the switch statement, we're making the val and the val here. So we're passing in the A, the string of A here, and then in the switch, we're saying the string of A. So in the, if it's the case that the val is equal to the string of A, then we turn the string apple. Interesting. Yeah, so it's just returning, so it's exiting the function. So this will probably pass the first test right here. There should be a value of apple. If we were to run it, I think that this would pass. You should not use if-else statements, you should use a default break, and you should have at least three break statements. Interesting. Now, okay, cool. And if we return, we're going to get out of there. But let's do it. I think the way that they want us to do this is to make answer equal to apple. We set the answer equal to apple. A. But no, we're, oh, and then so we're returning the value down here. So right now we're returning the value. We want to change this and return answer and then we're getting apple. So what's happening is we're saying the switch of stuff with the variable of A. Um, we're coming in here, the value is equal to the variable of A. In here, we have the value answer is equal to the empty string, switch. And then the A is here, the, and so in the case that it's the A, then we make answer equal to apple. And then we break. The answer is set to be equal to apple, so now when we return, we're returning uh, not empty string, but the uh, string of apple. And that's how that works. So uh, the next is case of B. We want to make the answer equal to bird. And then we're going to break. In the case of C, we want the answer to be equal to cat. And then we're going to break. And then as a default, we're going to say the answer is equal to stuff. And then we'll break. And I think that this is the answer. Um, as you can see, if we were to console log this, the thing and we change it to here, B, we get bird. C, 
we get cat. And if we do uh, X, we get stuff. So that should pass the tests. So I hope that helps. Um, another thing we do is just re put return statements in here and remove all the, all the break statements and this answer. That would be a way to um, refactor the code a little bit to make it more uh, easy to read and simpler. But for now, they're trying to express the default value. So I think that that's useful. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.